Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be doing a basic service on Booberry, my new Honda Today 50. So we're going to start off here just by um, putting a drip tray down and I'm also going to take off the top seat. It's only a few bolts and it's really easy to do. So we may as well do that to get some more clearance for cleaning the carburetor. So we're just going to turn off the scooter now, now that it's warmed up, and we're going to take off the sump plug bolt, which is just this one, I believe, 17 millimeter bolt. And there comes out the oil. As you can see, I'm using another meat tray as a drip tray, which was actually too small in this instance. Um, about one liter of oil came out, so it's quite a lot. As you can see, I had to switch to another container. Anyway, so I've taken off the top of the float bowl of the carburetor. As you can see, there's the spring that holds it down. Anyway, I just gave that a quick spray down with some carburetor cleaner and then just popped the cover back on. And now I'm going to undo the... I'm not actually too sure what it's called. It's the bit that connects to the air filter that um, gets rid of any liquid. As you can see, it hadn't been emptied in a while and there was quite a lot of gunk. So this compartment here is for the spark plug. It's just this one little cover here, which was actually in the way and really hard to get at. Even taking off the spark plug boot was extremely difficult, but as you can see, I took off that plastic piece to get more access, and now it's just a matter of being able to reach it. I did have to use a ratchet instead of using my fingers, just because it was so difficult to get at, because of this chassis piece that covers it. But after a lot of struggle, I did finally manage to get that spark plug out. It does look okay, it just looks really used and not changed in a long time, but there doesn't seem to be any problems with it. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and put ahead the new one, which was actually insanely difficult, but eventually I got it. I did have to use the ratchet again because lack of access. Anyway, it's time to do a little bit of a clean up as I've made a bit of a mess thanks to having to use two meat trays as drip trays. <laughs> We're all done. We're gonna go ahead and fill up the bike. I have put on the sump plug, just so you're aware. Uh, I believe it calls for 0.7 liters, which is actually not a whole lot. Uh, I think a lot more than that actually came out, so I'm a bit confused. And as you can see, it's all good now. So we're going to go ahead and start it up. It sounds like usual, it sounds like a 50cc scooter. And as you can hear, Everything sounds like it's all in working order. Uh, so give it a quick clean, just a little bit of wax and a bit more testing just to make sure everything is fine. I haven't done the air filter, that needs to be done, but I'll be doing that soon. Well guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and had a ton of fun working on the scooter for the first time. If you've got any um, suggestions on what I should do with the scooter, leave them down in the comments and I'll have a look. 
Um, generally speaking, my plans are going to sleep it up a little bit, not too much. Um, but I'm also going to apologise uh, for the tea coming out a bit late. I got set back by being put in hospital for a week and also just feeling generally weak from recovering. But regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Again, leave any suggestions down in the comments. Subscribe does really help. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!